welcome to this exciting episode here on So You Think You Know Chemistry. Today's show is based on the discovery of the polonium and the radium with the help of three exciting scientists, Marie Curie, Pierre Curie, and Henry Bocrat. We've got an exciting, never before seen interview and footage on the process of this, of this amazing discovery. Dr. Mario Arroyo is here with us today to get the full sight on this discovery. Dr. Arroyo, tell us about what you know of Marie Curie. Well, Marie Curie was born on November 7, 1867 in Warsaw, Poland, to Mr. and Mrs. Slodowski. She was the fifth out of five children. What type of education did she receive? She received a general education in local schools and some scientific training from her father. Her parents were teachers, so she gained their knowledge as well. She attended Paris University at the age of 24. She attained her undergraduate degree in mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Now here's a never-before-seen interview on Mr. and Mrs. Curie. In December 1895, William Rogin, a German physicist, discovered that rays can travel through solid wood and flesh. Months later, French physicist Henry Raquel discovered that minerals containing uranium gave off the same rays. Rogin's x-rays amazed me. I took the study with great energy. I decided to investigate more on the uranium rays. There was so little information on the rays and energy, so I started to work at once. Marie Curie is one of the most famous scientists that ever lived. Her contributions, such as the discovery of radium, help us every day, especially when getting an x-ray or things such as that. To find radium, Marie did the job of both, a scientist and a slave. She would collect wood from outside and set a cauldron on top of the fire. For every ton of rocks she would put in the cauldron, she would add six tons of water. She would mix the materials together with a metal stirring rod that was heavier and taller than herself. The mixture gave off fumes and toxins that would burn her throat and eyes. When it rained, she would bring the cauldron in where the fumes got stronger. A few months later, she had results that were 800 times more powerful than uranium. It took four years to purify one half a gram of uranium. Marie Curie was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize in 1903 and the first woman to win two Nobel Prizes in 1911. The Nobel Prize in Physics, 1903, Davy Medal, 1903, Matusi Medal, 1904, Nobel Prize in Chemistry, 1911. Did you know, Professor Lippmann, that when Marie finally got to France, that she did not understand a single word of your lectures? She had never heard a Frenchman speak French before, especially on the topic of physics. But after 18 months of study and living in absolute poverty, she earned a master's degree in physics. Not only that, she was first in her class. And 12 months after that, she received her master's degree in mathematics. Yes, perfect grades. Above all, Marie is guided by a single promise. 